Okay, listen, this video, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. So that's why I'm not going to make the cake from scratch. I went and bought a mix, all right? This is a Pineapple Supreme Deliciously Moist Cake Mix, okay? So here it is. What I have in the bowl right now is everything that it tells you to put in there. Uh, a, uh, water, egg, and the other stuff, oil. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that up according to directions. And then I'm going to bake it. Now, there's a couple ways you could bake this. I'm going to use the English muffin rings which I have greased and, and uh, floured and uh, hopefully it won't leak out the bottom we're gonna find out if it will or not and uh, and then I'm gonna bake them they'll be nice and round now you could bake it in a sheet and then cut them you know it doesn't make any difference I'm just gonna try this to see if it'll work I don't know if it will or not uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, so got to mix this stuff up. A class A dessert. You'll see what I mean. All right. Um, I won't be able to finish it today. I have to go get strawberries. The first store I went to did not have any. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting in two ounces. Two ounces in each ring and so far they're not leaking which is uh, that's really cool. See if the rings were bent they would be leaking. That's why I'm saying if you do buy them Make sure you keep the little uh, clear box that they came in because you want to put them back in the box and and you want to put them in a safe place where they're not going to get banged up. All right, now they're going into a 325 degree oven. According to the box, everything is according to the box. All right, here we go. I'm not making it by scratch, all right? I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. And I'm going to mix. This is the kind you have to cook. So I'm going to cook it, and I'm going to add some gelatin to it. All right? The reason I'm adding the gelatin to it is because I'm going to whip some whipped topping. Now, I don't know if um, Cool Whip will work. I've never bought Cool Whip. So I don't know if it'll work. If you want to try Cool Whip, then, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to mix it and see if it'll get thicker. Because I remember eating Cool Whip, but I never bought it. But I remember it wasn't real thick. You know, it wasn't like, you know, whipped whipped cream, you know. It was kind of loose. So if you do use Cool Whip, try to whip it to where you get stiff peaks. If it doesn't whip, then forget it. Then this is what you need. It's called Rich's Whip Topping. All right, it comes in these quarts. Rich's Whip Topping, right there. And the place where I found this was GFS, Gordon Food Service. It's a restaurant supply place. It comes in a one quart container. And like I said, you can, um, uh, what you can do is let it thaw out, shake it up real good, take out half and then put the rest back in the freezer. It says do not refreeze, but that doesn't mean anything. I've been refreezing this stuff forever. So, uh, that's called Richie's Whip Topping. I'll show you when the time comes. We'll whip some up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to whip the topping up and then I'm going to add some of the jello, uh, some of the um, vanilla pudding to the whip topping and fold it in. And it's going to make it, basically it's going to make a fake mousse is what it's going to make but it's still going to be liquidy you know a little bit liquidy because of the uh, because of the pudding not because of the topping because of the pudding okay so then 
once I get that made, then I'm going to pour it over the strawberries. That's why you need the ring. Because the ring will hold the pudding in place. You know, it won't fall out everywhere. So I'm going to pour the, the vanilla pudding over the strawberries and it's going to fill up all the empty spaces there. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it gel. Okay. Then when it comes out... Oh, that's my hard-boiled eggs. And then when it comes out of the uh, refrigerator all nice and cold, then I'm going to take the rings out. I'll put the top on the... You know, the... Well, first I'll use a little whip topping, and then I'll put the top on it. And then I want to frost... I want to uh, uh, frost the whole thing around. And then I'm going to pour ganache over the top. I'll show you how to make all these things. It's very simple. Um, you know, there's a lot of steps to this, but I'll tell you what, if you make this stuff, people are going to, they're going to freak out. I'm not kidding you. And it's really simple. I mean, if you, you know, if we're not making the cake batter, and we're not making the pudding from scratch, you know, it's, it's pretty easy. It's just a lot of steps. And, um, and that's about it. All right, let me look in here. Okay, the thing is cooking. I'm going to raise the oven up a little bit to 350, just because I don't want the I don't want the uh, cake batter to come out of the bottom of the of the what's my jiggy? The bottom of the rings. All right. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, here they are. They're baked. And I must admit, they're perfect. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to let them cool off before I try to take them out of the pan. Also, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, end up burning myself. I'm going to uh, put another, I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to put another pan on top of them and flip them. And that way, they'll have uh, a flat bot a flat top you know what I mean uh, I need another towel there you go paper towel that'll work all right so now I'm just gonna flip them over and let them sit there until they're cool and sitting on the the dome part of it and it's still warm that will flatten them out on top. Okay, that's it. See you. Okay, hello everybody. All right, now I'm going to get a couple things going here. One is the jello. I mean, not jello, uh, the pudding. All right, so we're going to take two cups of milk. That's what it calls for two cups. We're going to make it just the way it says on the on the uh, rest on the box now the whole reason why I'm using uh, a box pudding is um, because I'm trying to make this as simple as possible okay I'm trying to make it as simple as possible okay now here we go with the one package of pudding let me stir it in and then I'm gonna put it on the stove this by the way is banana banana cream hmm now you could make pastry cream if you want you know that's up to you uh, like I said I'm just doing it to show you the, the easiest way to do this the foolproof way okay so there's one pack of uh, vanilla pudding. I'm gonna put it on the stove. Here, we're gonna keep out one scoop, two ounces of it, and we're to that we're gonna add one package of uh, gelatin. This is original gelatin, unflavored. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the in the um, in the cold milk 
what we want it to do we want it to bloom before we heat it up so you know when it blooms it it uh, swells up you know it soaks up the liquid so that's what we want this to do before we heat it up so that's what it's gonna do it's gonna it's gonna absorb the liquid and then we're going to heat it you know we're gonna cook it right in with the with the pudding um, now the reason why you need a little bit extra gelatin is because we're gonna add the whipped topping to the pudding and we're gonna make it fluffier kinda like a mousse alright okay so we'll, we'll leave this alone for a minute alright now I'm gonna add some chocolate chocolate chips these are semi-sweet chocolate chips right there you can see them okay and to this there really isn't I don't have a recipe for this I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it by eye uh, you know what you can eh, what the heck let's make it all you can um, Uh, you can keep this in the refrigerator. This is going to be ganache. Okay, you can keep it in the refrigerator. So I made the whole the whole bag. Um, okay, now here's a double boiler. Here's a little bit of water in there. A little bit too much. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put that on the stove with the pudding. Okay, here I just wanted to show you what it's like when it uh, when it's bloomed. All right, the gelatin is bloomed. You can see it's it's uh, it's absorbed the liquid, which is what you want. Now I'm going to put it right in with the pudding and cook it right along with the pudding. Okay, all right. Okay, <clears throat> here we have it. The pudding is boiled. And the ganache, uh, the uh, the uh, chocolate chips have melted. Now I'm going to add milk to the chocolate chips. You can use heavy cream for this too if you want. Doesn't matter. How much am I adding? Gee, I don't know. I don't know. However much that was, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure what that was. I think that just comes with celebrity. All right. Yeah, I'm making a mess too. Okay, so you mix it to this point right here. Uh, I guess that was probably what a half a cup, maybe a little more. I don't know. You just, I'm sure there's a recipe for it somewhere. I'm not. You know, like I say, I don't use a recipe. I just, I just do it until, until it looks like this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here, let me show you. See, see how thick it is. Coats the spoon very nice. All right. Anyway, that's, that's the ganache. Whoops. Okay, now we're going to whip the topping. Now remember, I told you, the best topping to use that I know of is Rich's Whip Topping. Now, I, I don't know about, um, about Cool Whip. I don't know anything about Cool Whip. I don't know if it'll work. If if you use Cool Whip, you're going to have to whip it up some more with your machine. You know, I've tried Cool Whip, and I've noticed that it's kind of thin. You know what I mean? It's it's not uh, what you want to use unless unless it'll whip. If you can whip it up, then go ahead and use it. All right, here's our here's our uh, what you you want to keep out a little bit the bowl in the refrigerator 
so the bowl is nice and cold. I also have some heavy cream. In case we need it, we've got heavy cream. Okay, so I'm going to whip this now. I'm letting the pudding cool off. Pudding has to get a little bit cool. All right. Oh, also to this, I'm going to add one little drop or two of uh, vanilla. There's a couple, four or five drops of vanilla. And I'm going to add just a little bit of stevia, a little sweetener. You can use sugar if you want. Okay, here. I'm, I'm going to use this much. That much stevia. Okay. And let it go. All right. There you have it. Nice stiff peaks. Nice and stiff. Now, if you can get Cool Whip to do this, you can use Cool Whip. Okay. Now we gotta we gotta wait a minute. We gotta wait a minute. This has gotta cool off a little bit more. It's still too hot. So I'll be back in one minute. Let me keep this warm on the stove. This does not have to be hot anymore. Actually, it's good right there. Um, it doesn't have to be hot. All it needs to do now is stay warm. When this gets cold, it will solidify and, you know, it'll get, basically it'll get hard, but it won't get like the chocolate chips. You know, it won't get that hard. This is ganache. Ganache will, um, ganache is still soft, you know, even when it's cold, you can cut it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, this is still a bit warm. It's a little bit too warm right now, but that's all right. We, we've got other things to do. All right. So, here is our our eight uh, our eight little cakes. All right. Now, what I want to do now is just cut them in half, or not half. I just want to cut the tops off. There, I'll show you. Hold it, phone's ringing. All right, never mind, that's nothing. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut them a little bit just to make them flat. All right? And we're gonna put them back. We're gonna put them back on the tray. All right, just like that. Now we're only going to make four of them because I have to double up these uh, these what you call it, double up the rings. So we're, I've only got eight rings, so that means we're only going to make four. Okay. No, we ended up being absolutely 100% correct. We ended up being correct. Man, his old family's fucking out. 
just going to take a little piece of this, a little blob of uh, stuff, and the reason I'm putting this on here is to have the strawberries will have something to stick to. All right, let's start with this much. Let's see where we go from there. These machines when they're new because you you can't get the bowl in man it's really hard to get the bowl in all right now we're gonna start this and going that does look like enough but I'm going to add a little bit more. All right, you see how much we have in there? I'm going to say we have three cups. Three cups of topping. Now I'm going to add the pudding to it. Now here's the thing, you don't want to mix it too much and you don't want to add too much. You know what I mean? You have to look at it. I'll show you what it's going to look like. much because it'll um, it'll get real thin on you okay so now uh, now we're gonna add the pudding to the strawberries if I can find the thingy I'll use this all right here we go all right now wait till you see this when it when it um, when it stands up. Ooh, man. It's like a real moose. It's very close. All right. desserts you could actually cut them in half and serve a half as one serving all 
All right, look, if you have any of the pudding left over, not a problem. Just put it in a bowl and it'll, it'll, um, or you know what, what's even better, do a, uh, do a parfait. Woo! Mama. All right, so here's what we got now. Now we're going to put the tops on. Okay, I like them flat on the top. So what is that abomination? You might want to put the round side up. That's up to you. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Okay, now, now we're gonna put them in the fridge. All right. So here we go. We're mixing up some whipped cream. That topping will act a little bit like a stabilizer also. It'll stabilize the whipped cream. Okay, here we go. Now like I said, I know this is going to be the hard part. You don't need a turntable. You know, you could use a Lazy Susan or you could use nothing. Uh, it's just a lot harder when you use nothing. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on the top here. Now, yeah, look, no. when I serve these, I'm not serving them as one. This is going to be two. Okay, and then go along the side. You know, if you want, you could use a comb. Wait, I'll show you what a comb is. Uh, using a comb would be a lot easier than doing this. I think. I don't know, maybe not. I I know why. And that's good stuff. All right, here. Here's a comb. What you do is you fill up the comb like this, put it along the side, and then just comb it. That's it. Plus, you get a nice pattern. You know, it looks good. <laughs> you could do it that way. Either way, you should ice it because when you put on the ganache, if it's not iced, eh, it just doesn't look smooth, you know? Um, okay, now hold on. All right, now what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of uh, walnuts out along the bottom. Okay, so just drop your little cake into a, into a uh, little pan full of walnuts. Now this is toasted walnuts with a little bit of cinnamon and, uh, well, it's not sugar, it's stevia. Good stuff. All right, pull that out. Oh, Woo. I need a wider spatula. Okay, that goes back down. Now, here's what I'm going to do. When I serve these, I'm going to cut them in half. So, you know, eating that whole thing right there is too much. That's too big of a dessert, especially now that I'm going to put the chocolate on and make a tiny decoration on top. It's too big of a dessert. So, I'm going to cut them in half. Also, cutting them in half, you're going to be able to see the strawberries, and it's going to look really cool. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. On, on one piece, I'm going to do this. On the other piece, I'm doing this. Now, what I don't want to do is put any chocolate in the middle, because when you go to cut it, if you have chocolate there, you go to cut it, it's going to smear its way down. And it's going to get in, you know, it's just not going to look good. So, 
Just try not to get any chocolate in that part of it. Okay? And what you want it to do is you want it to come down the sides. Exactly what it's doing right now. Okay. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I bought me some blank DVDs. Well, like I said, this really isn't complicated. You know, you just have to, you have to go through the right steps, and and it's not complicated at all. All right. I'm going to cut this one because I'm not going to wait for it to settle, I mean to uh, set up. I'm just going to cut it so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, here you go. Now there's six of them. There's two, four, six. I'm gonna cut them in half. There's what they look like when they're when they're cut. Um, oh, plus I'm gonna put the walnuts down around the bottom once the ganache hardens. The ganache will harden. Okay, that's them. All right, see you. Hey, you might be able to find me someplace else around town. But you ain't gonna find it any better than this. See you later. I gotta go. I gotta eat.